there was an artist that's like they, they're doing a show and they're getting ready for a show that's going to be a festival and they're going to have a booth and everything there's a there's a, a moment that's happening also right there is that they're getting ready for that show that moment mm -hmm. right there and that's something that a lot of artists need to know that that's just a that's just a stepping stone mm -hmm. to the next stone yeah and they need to play out like okay that's going to be that show but don't play for that show play for this it's a long-term vision yeah. yeah you gotta play for it so at that show maybe like surrender to it, like I'm, maybe I'm not gonna sell anything, but what I am gonna do, I'm gonna have my website ready, I'm gonna have a business card that points people to it, and so that this stepping stone is where I'll make my money. Yeah. That's a, a, a I'm glad you actually brought it up because that's part of my question I forgot about it is, you know, we, a lot of things you say, I can see myself in it because I'm doing the same thing is, a lot of times, and human, we, we would get trapped in the short term, not really failure, but short term struggles. Yeah. and lose sight of your long-term vision. But if you have that long-term vision out there and you know, um, there's a quote like, when plans don't work, change the plans, don't change your vision. I love that. Right, like you can change your plan all you want, but if you lose sight of vision, you're going all over the place. And like you said, this show might not work for you to sell something, but if you come in prepared, that means I'm walking away with a list of people and back to you making connections. I go to the show, I walk away with a list of people that I know who they are, where they live, what they're looking for, and I get them to my website, I have their contact. When I call them back, they will come back. And then, because I'm not here to sell them for one day, I'm here to sell them for the rest of the life, but I do it right, yeah. if I play, play it right, right? So that long-term vision is so important, especially if you choose to be an artist. It's not about today, it's not about tomorrow, it's about the rest of your life. And I envy you of that. Like, yeah. Imagine you chose your own career path and you're living every single day to get there and you just can't lose sight of that. You gotta just make it happen. Yeah. Right? Love it. So that that's one thing I, I really truly believe in. Every single one of you could make it happen. It's just you have the drive, you have the vision, and we're here to help you to get there. And the rest of it's in your hands. You just gotta move that needle. And the next thing is the confidence. And it's not about big ego or arrogance. It's I got this thing, I, I was in an interview with this tech company in the Valley and the CFO told me when he called me for the offer, he said, you know, I interview a couple of people and one thing I really just love about you is your self-confidence. You can take it both ways. All right, is he saying I'm cocky or? Yeah. But m my response right away is, you know, Spence, you know, self-confidence, you can see it two ways. One is just being arrogant. I'm just out there talking more than I can do. And the other one is, if you've been around the block several times, you know what you're doing. The confidence comes with experience. Yeah. And for artists, what is your biggest advice for them to gain that confidence? I am amazing and you are amazing. What is that little mind trick they can write down on a piece of paper, stick it on the wall, and just look at it every day to help them to believe that they are amazing? Yeah, if there is one thing that an artist could have on the wall. One is to do that. I'm a big believer in vision boards. Mm -hmm. And if you have a goal, it's a vision. And to have a vision board is huge. Like who do you wanna be? What What is your goal? And to truly have a vision board or even know what a vision board is or like what's happening in your mind when you have a vision board. And if that if there is one thing there, let's say that you have a goal, that, that goal has to have to me, it has to have what's the purpose mm -hmm. and to write down your purpose for your goals. And in those in those goals, one of the most important, important nuances in a goal is what will this do for other people? Mm -hmm. and, and the second that you can make something become selfish and make it selfless, that's where you really tap into Maslow's hierarchy of needs because you're serving people. And as soon as you can serve people and say, I'm doing this to become amazing and this is great, but in tapping into my highest self and really tapping into like what I'm really good at, the second someone can make something selfless and, and but approach it with a crushing amount of, uh, it, not using these words exactly, but approach it with arrogance and ego. And uh, there's a guy, Keith Keith Cunningham, he speaks a lot of Tony Robbins, 
events on on a lot of the accounting side and he has a uh, a quote that he said you have to have a crushing amount of arrogance to be able to be humble enough to drop your ego and <laughs> i is true. loved it that I was is like, true. <laughs> you gotta really take yeah. it takes a lot to put your ego yeah. aside and say hey keith just go sit in the corner <laughs> let's do this right yeah yeah, yeah. so it's, it's huge um but if there's one thing they stick on the wall like they, they need to believe in themselves and 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 work on themselves every day yeah i think that's a huge part and there's so much that pulls people down and yeah today. and that's the whole purpose of branding right i know you guys all want to get online and learn branding marketing but if you don't believe in self why are you doing all this effort for yeah. are you creating an insecurity as your brand and then you build on top of the insecurity all you're doing is hurting your brand like all this example you're using, right? Like if you don't believe in yourself to begin with, you don't have a vision board, you're just kind of creating what the salesperson is saying today and tomorrow, have your beaver, have your mouse trap, have your duct tape banana, just because someone tell you so. Yeah. Then you are selling that insecurity to others. And that will actually be the biggest roadblock in your own career is you, yourself becoming the enemy of yeah. yourself. So, I love everything you say and I just wish we had the whole day here with you. Yeah. But you know, w there will be more opportunities to get to know you and yeah. I just love the way you arrived at your success. Like you said, it's a selfless, granted you're putting food on the table but at the same time, just through this whole conversation, I understand you are here today, not to force yourself onto the person, but to help them to create the value and bring the value back to where they are, home, office, wife, husband, friends, partner, whatever it is, you are serving them. And that I see is the key to your success. And I would like to kind of send a message out there for you guys to know today, if you're going to a show, don't try to sell that pending to someone because you need to sell it. Be serving your patrons, be serving your audience and you will see things happen. I love it. So, Thank you yeah. so much. You nailed it. Thanks. Yeah. All good. right. Yeah.